up boogie till I go blind right here, freaking. At the freaking ball, y'all. <laughs> Welcome. It is Friday, December 15, 2017. This is the Freakers Ball. I am Grimner. Moose Girl will be with us shortly. And you are live on reallibertymedia.com with us here this evening. Now, you may have noticed, if you uh, are a regular Freaker here that hangs out on the reallibertymedia.com on Friday nights and, and comes here and freaks with us, that uh, we are no longer, on, or at least presently not, <laughs> Right now, we are not on <laughs> the Livestream.com feed that we've been using for a couple of few, several years now. Uh, I've switched over to the Ustream feed uh, in order to maybe help some folk out because it's supposed to work with HTML5. Uh, and and so, so some people had problems because uh, it wasn't working under Flash or they, they couldn't use Flash on their uh, machines. So this should be a little better. And it appears also just... I'm not positive yet, just starting the show here, but it appears uh, that it's a less of a load from the broadcasting end, which still does use Flash, but uh, maybe just something, some differences within the Ustream versus Livestream formats, platforms. We'll see. But uh, whatever, I always like the Ustream. I, I think the picture's clearer, actually. You, you can tell me whether or not you see that as the picture being clear. Anyway, welcome to everybody, uh, wherever you may be out there this evening, and tune in to the Freakers Ball, whether you're on the video stream that I've been yammering on about, or on the audio stream, which is out there in all kinds of various places. Uh, and and I, I see we have a, a couple fine ladies there, at least, listening in on the audio stream. Uh, so, um, hey, ladies. <laughs> Yeah, and if there's any gentlemen out there also on that audio stream that I, I don't see, uh, welcome to you as well. Uh, but if you're there on the Freedoms Network, Freakdoms Network, um, howdy to you over there. I can't tell, really tell who's over there. Maybe tuned in anywhere that the RLM radio stream goes out to. Um, always, always good to have you there with us. Uh, if you're listening in from maybe the corner pocket over there, f uh, Sock Puppets, uh, IRC dot crush and run dot net welcome to you i didn't uh advertise over there because I don't, I don't really think those people tune in that much but that's okay uh we we still like to mention them and say howdy to them all and the, the, the main group here the main focus uh people that make requests and chat and all that great stuff um uh, what do i see something going on here something weird oh there it is okay we'll just give we'll just do that uh, what, 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 there it is. Okay, there it is. Oh, there she is. I see her. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Moose Girl. Hey. I'm hey. Here. Good. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> so, carry on. Carry on. Okay, well, I was just saying, the main group of people that we focus or that uh, we talk to and that we get requests from and uh, just carry on conversations during the show here with are the folks here in the Pound Pound, Real Liberty Media channel on irc.freenode.net, which you can access from the Freakers Ball show page and or the front page of Real Liberty Media and or your own IRC client, recommended, highly recommended. <laughs> so, any, any of those, get on over to Freenode, irc.freenode.net, and jump on in, Pound Pound, Real Liberty Media, and you'll be here with all of the great folks that we have here this evening. Mr. Barman, if that is his real name, myself, and the Mighty Moose Girl, uh, Miss Cade and Beth Z, Calcedoni Circle, uh, Chloe, Graham Z, Don C, uh, Java Doctor, JJ's sleeping probably, Wana Taco, Mr. Mr. Asmodeus, <laughs> Paul Bunyan and Raid and uh, the Fluke Bot, Mr. Rob Works. Uh, Rome's, a.k.a. Uh, trust Everyone. Vin E. Vin E. Awake. Uh, Dakota, Colfax, uh, Dima, Flash, Flash. I don't know if Flash is awake. I know Circle's awake. I didn't see Circle yet. Wait, did I miss Circle? Did I mention Circle? Circle! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Frumpy and Gooberzilla and Gozu and the uh, Poxified, uh, the Pone Sauce there. 
uh, Sock Puppet and uh, Teddy in Phantom are the names that are listed in the chat here. That doesn't mean that's yes. all. That's, that don't mean that's all that's listed. No, it doesn't. But it does mean that those are listed <laughs> here in the chat, and they can converse with us during the program. And you can always jump in any time and have your name on the list as well. Yes, you can. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, Pox says it does look a little bit more HD on on, on the video cool. there, on the Ustream video. Yeah, it does look clear. I, I am looking at it right now, and I really think it looks a lot clearer. Good, I really do. good. Yeah, so I think live stream's been uh, slacking a bit. So, yeah. Uh, so we're going to go with Ustream, even if they are somehow tied to IBM. I, I don't know Although how that... it does say IBM. I was just going to say it says yeah. IBM. That's the only thing I noticed it was, like, different right away. It was yeah, IBM. so I, I don't know if IBM is still that Nazi group or whatever. Um. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but either way, they're, they're providing a better service at this point in time. Right, so, uh, right. <laughs> Either way, we're good. So that's good. good. We're, so we're that's good. good. Uh, yeah, and like I said uh, earlier, you could, it's supposed to work without Flash. Um, so. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. If it does, it nice. does. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. You don't lose anything if it doesn't because we had to use Flash for, for, before for sure with the live stream. So. <laughs> and if it yeah. does, then bonus. <laughs> All right. Uh, Hershey's get layered. What? Hershey's? What are you talking about, Hershey's? I don't know. Wanna tacos and. You have Hershey's plants in Eau Claire here. Oh, oh, well, I don't know. He maybe he's talking about. You ever had one of those Choco Tacos? Yes. Those are great. Those are really <laughs> yeah, good. I haven't had one of those since, like. <laughs> I, don't yeah, even... I haven't had one of them for a long time. Uh, did, nobody had them except that I, I was. Uh, I went to this. Uh, uh, well, University of Phoenix class, which is about, yeah. you know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, out, outside their class, um, yeah. in the like, place next door, they had those, and I, and I could go there and get them. But that was like, it wasn't very long, maybe a month worth of classes there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's been, <laughs> I can't even remember how long ago that's been. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. So how are you doing? You know, it's been quite the fucking week here. I mean, um, okay, so Monday, my son calls me up at about 3.30. He's like, Mom? I'm like, yeah. He's oh, like, wait, 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 like, wait, 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 wait. Taco said he saw a commercial. Now, so um, what? you know, I, I don't know if you're using the uh, ad blocker. Um, or not there, Wanna Taco? And if you are, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. you'll have to let me know because, like I said, we're on a different format now. And right. it's possible they can sneak commercials through that, uh, yeah, that, that, sucks. that thing. If, if they do, then, well, there will maybe a, a different ad blocker if somebody else is not getting commercials on the stream. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, let us know. I'm not getting commercials. I, I have not. Got me commercial, and I I am on on Firefox and using AdBlock Plus. So okay, so if that helps you. I don't know. But no, that that's good information. That's good information. So anyway, sorry to interrupt you. Which what what? Uh, no, go that's back, okay. Go back. So to what, Monday, you know, three thirty, whatever. They get done with school at three. Son calls at three thirty. Mom, yeah. He's like, um, I'm like, what? He's like, oh, I was um driving the van. Kind of down a hill. Not, he wasn't even down a hill. He's like, I was driving down. I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, I went to take a turn. I'm like, yeah. He's like, the tire broke off. I'm like, what? And it didn't actually break off and fly off the vehicle, but the the control arm and the tie rod. I mean, I'm sure they were ready to go, and when he turned, they just went. You know what I mean? Right. And so it was all he could do to like get it over to the curb. You know, he's on a side street. Luckily, he was able to get it over somewhere to park it, you know, and so that van, I'm like, well, fuck, it's an, it's an, oh, what is it, what year is it, it's a freaking 05, right, and the frame's all rusted, like, if the boys were driving it and they got a flat tire, the, 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 um, the frame is so rusted that you can't use that jack that comes with the vehicle to jack it up, right, 
because the frames just rusted. The, the vehicle would just crumble, you know? It wouldn't jack up. And so it's not worth fixing it. Right. In my opinion. Oh, well, no, I, I um, saw it. it was, I mean, it was, it's pretty messed up. You could fix it and... And we could fix it, but it's not worth it. You well, know what I mean? It, it, it is and it's not. I, I mean, if because if you're going to sell it, then it might be worth it. Right. But at the same time, like, the, I know what's going to – chances are they're going to take that apart. They're going to realize that other things are wrong. You know, the frame's already <laughs> rusted to shit. And then what's going to happen is the other side's going to go. You know what I mean? Yeah, It's like, yeah. no, this vehicle is dumb. You know, right. this is not a safe vehicle. Now, and, so, and, and you're sure that they didn't, like, hit a curb or something? I'm sure that they didn't. I, I'm pretty sure that when Matt turned, it just was ready to go and just went. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, they, they do. They do do, they, they do do that. Do do that. Do do, yes. <laughs> Especially when it's all rust of the ship. Yeah. You know, it hasn't been lubed. It hasn't been, you know what I mean? Right. It's a 12-year-old vehicle. Sure, I mean, sure. come on. So, anyway, that was sitting over well, there. Well, hell, my vehicle's just, that old, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you don't drive your vehicle every day. You don't. You baby your vehicles. You don't. You hardly drive. She's my sweetheart. Right. Well, you hardly <laughs> drive. So there you go. I wouldn't treat her bad. Yeah, but anyway. Um, <laughs> Park. <laughs> anyway, so that was sitting there in the side street over there in front of someone's house. There, I called the cop shop. I'm just like, I got a disabled vehicle. We're gonna get it moved, right? Yeah. Oh, well, you have to move it within 24 hours. I'm like, fuck. You know, I didn't say that. I'm like, fuck. Anyway, I didn't get it moved till yesterday, but it was $89 for the toll. They didn't have to take the tire off to get it on the tow truck, which they the guy said, well, we'll pay it, we'll charge you 100 if we got to take the tire off, otherwise it's 85 I'm like, okay, whatever. Anyway, the junkyard said, well, if we got to come get it, we're only going to give you 50 bucks for it. I'm thinking, fuck that, dude, you know. Right. Well, anyway, if if I do end up going that route, I'll get half my money back, or fifty dollars back from the toll to the house, right? Yeah. So anyway, because I didn't know what to do, I just needed to get it off that street in front of people's house. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. Before I got ticketed and told by the city. Yeah. So anyway, so the the deal is now I am going to give them the vehicle I have, the Ford Edge, the The boys, you're going to give the boys the vehicle. The boys, the vehicle, and. I am going to purchase another vehicle, and I just don't like this position because I, I, you just don't know. You don't know what the best vehicle is out there. I mean, you have some ideas, but it's just still a crapshoot, you know? I mean, people, everyone has an opinion on a vehicle. Some people say Fords are good. Some people say they Fords suck. Some people say Jeeps are good. Some people say Jeeps suck. Some people say Chevys are good. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, like, hold up, what? hold up, hold up, what? hold up, hold up. What? Who said Jeeps suck? No one said they suck, po but point, oh, point I wouldn't me. buy a Jeep. It's like, <laughs> what? It's not for one thing. People are entitled to their opinion. <laughs> Somebody looking for a butt kicking. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. No, no. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll, no, this is good. It's good. This and, was from a person that you know, swears it, by Chevys. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. I mean, I'll, so I've they're going to good... be a Chevy freak, and they're not going to be like open-minded in any other. Brand out there. I've had and I've had like, good Chevys and good Fords and good Jeeps. I've and, had and shitty Chevys. I had a Chevy Beretta. That car was a total piece of shit. From the yeah. day I owned it, I bought it used. That thing was a fucking piece of crap. It was a lemon. That thing had so many problems. I had to have major work done on that, and it, luckily it was still under warranty. When I had that major work done, it was like like transmission or something, or crankshaft or something like that, something major, you know. I'm like, really? And it's been so long ago since I've had that, but that thing was a Chevy, and it was a piece of shit, okay? Okay. Then I went to a Honda, and I tell you what, that them Hondas, I had two Honda Civics, them things were the best fucking cars I ever fucking had. Both of them cars were awesome. Right. And then I had kids, so I switched to a minivan because a Honda Civic with kids is crappy. You can't a two-door Honda Civic with twins. That's <laughs> not gonna work. No, no, those things are tiny. Mm-hmm. It was great when it was just me, but then the kids came along, and it's like, 
okay, you're going to need a different vehicle, girl. So I had to trade my Honda in for a Toyota minivan. And that, that first Toyota minivan I had was sweet. It was sweet. Yeah. So anyway, I'm on the path now looking for a new vehicle. But I'm going to say, can we play um, some tunage right now? Because my kids just got home, and there's going to be an interruption. In the All right. Well, we'll start off some tunages here, so, then. All right. It and won't be long. We'll so hopefully be back. by the time the tunes are done, it'll be gone. All right. All right. Okay. Have, have fun there with the boys. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Oh well, I I, I see Pac said uh, there's uh, the screen went black and white and black again and back to the stream, so maybe an ad tried to play. That's a possibility. Like I said, we're dealing with with uh, a brand new animal here, so unexpected things are bound to happen. <laughs> uh, we're gonna kick it off here with Samantha a Fish. From uh, hell, just last week, yeah, December December ninth, this was recorded at the Bay Shore in New York. Oh uh, yeah, David, I'm afraid of Americans too, a and you know, uh, rightfully so. They're a scary bunch. Anyway, <laughs> um, that was David Bowie, and I'm afraid of Americans. Before that, we had. Get it? Well, it, which that that song there was a Rome's request, uh, a trust no one request. Before that was a Moose Girl request, the infamous a string at Dusters, live with Get It While You Can, and I kicked it off there with Samantha Fish, a uh, recording from last week, Chills and Fever, excellent tunage. Um, all right, now uh, we've tried the uh, Ustream and it, it looks great. But uh, apparently some, some people have some glitches. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back. So you'll uh, notice uh, in a moment that it, the stream goes offline. I'm updating the uh, site right now to get the, other, the old stream back on there. And uh, it'll take me a moment to load up the, uh, the, uh, the broadcaster for the, new, for the old stream, for the new old stream. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take this one offline. I'll be back in uh, momentarily, so please refresh your browsers. All right, all right, all right, all right, all uh, right. But 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 live stream there it is. Okay, let me log in over here. Yeah yeah yeah. Log it in, log it in, log it in. Skip, go to my account. Okay, webcaster, pop that sucker open, authenticating, welcome to me, and do 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 Alright, alright, shut that off, bring this up here, go live, alright, settings, everything looks good, alright, it's not as responsive, from my end, of things, but that's alright, um, uh, let, me, let me just double check over here, make sure everything came on. Everything should be good to go. Should be no changes. There it is. All right. Okay, new stream is up and online. Let me just type that in the chat here. Online, refresh browsers. If not already done, so not already done so. Okay. <laughs> New stream, old stream. All right, there you go. Uh, so we're back. We're back to where we were for all these previous times, all these previous weeks and years. So uh, hopefully that works better. Moose Girl, are you still uh, goofing off or what? <laughs> oh, man. She, I mean, she, she must be still busy with the boys. Apparently, one of her sons got accepted to some college. She'll tell us all about that when she gets back to the microphone uh, there. I would imagine. I assume. Seems reasonable. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, a little uh, live online editing of the website, of the, of the Freaker's Ball page. Anybody hear me? Can you guys hear me out there? 
Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Am I broadcasting? <laughs> okay, Box can hear me. Great. So that should take care of the problems, I, I would assume, I hope, uh, with the new stream. I, I, I don't know how to switch back to the other one and, and make everything work because, well, if it, if it wants to work, it'll work. If it don't, it don't. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I know they'll uh, if I if I paid money, <laughs> which I'm not going to do, um, then we could get rid of all that ad shit. Um, uh, no, 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 no. This, this has nothing to do with IceCast or Shoutcast. This is live stream versus. We're talking about video streaming here. IceCast, as far as I know, there is no video streaming under IceCast. Um, and if you're listening on the on the audio stream, it says you can stream video with IceCast. He has done so. Well, um, oh, but direct, not through a service. See, there, there, there's where the problem comes in. That, 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 well, you're you're on the you're on the audio stream, Chloe. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about the video stream. Uh, yeah, the problem with that, the problem with that box is that um, if I and I know I can stream via VLC uh, with IceCast, I have also done that. But the problem there is, uh, depending on the crowd of people that you get, each one of them is sucking your bandwidth up. Um, that's why I use a server out there. I can, my bandwidth goes up once, and then everybody else sucks bandwidth from the server. Instead of ten people trying to suck video stream uh, uh, bandwidth directly from my my, my connection. And I, I don't know how many I can handle on my end, but uh, that, that's why I do it how I do it. And um, <laughs> as, as, long, as long as live stream or you stream is going to work for me, I'm going to use one of them. Um, uh, yeah, but you still have to have a server to do it. Uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, nah, yeah, switch back to live stream, Miss Girl. So you have to refresh your uh, Freakers Ball page. Uh, and, uh, anyway. Yeah, you still have to have a server that allows you to do that. And I, I don't have that server. Those servers cost money. I don't have money. <laughs> like, so, yeah, so, and the quality isn't that bad. No, as long as one of these free free services is going to work, I'm going to use it. <laughs> That's the way it goes with that. So, um, live, live stream's been a fine, gotta, fine, fine thing for a long time. And eventually they will get the HTML5 embeds av available. Um, buy a server with your bitcoins. You buy a server with your bitcoins and, and donate it to RLM. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the refrigerator. Put it in the refrigerator. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, see, like I said, I, I like the free services. We've been using them for a long, long time, and they've worked great. So I'm going to continue on with them until they no yeah, longer use them. Well. Until either they, they no longer provide them or, um, yeah, till then. Or we stop. One of the two. Right. <laughs> So, oh God! Yeah. So yeah. So, <laughs> so we're back to live streams. Enjoy. All right, that's fine. On to my story now. Okay. So the vehicle I'm looking at is a Jeep Compass. A Jeep Compass. And it's a model. Yeah, it's been around for a couple of years. Uh, it's a four by four. It's a four by. And what you do is you can set it for the terrain. Like you can adjust it. It's got sand, snow rain, something dry, whatever, you can adjust, there's a setting in there, you adjust the terrain, and then when you're driving, it automatically will switch, but you can lock in the four-wheel drive, but if you just, like, select this, like, at, let's say it's snowing out, like, tonight, I hit snow, and then the tire, it, the car automatically knows when it needs four-wheel drive, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good technology. Yeah, and so... Now, you're, you're, uh, did you move your, away from the mic there? Sorry, yeah, probably. All right. Uh, nothing's wrong with the Edge Ben, the v boys' vehicle. Um, 
they broke a tie rod and a control arm, and the tire bent down. Basically, the tire almost broke off. I mean, and so that vehicle is not worth fixing. So I am going to give them the edge. No, I'm not rich. I'm going to give them the edge. I'm going to take out a loan <laughs> to purchase a different vehicle because I can make payments. They can't, you know. Yeah. So. Anyway, I have not driven the Compass yet. A couple people, like Rami said, one of her friends has one and loves it. I heard someone else told me that someone else has one and they love it. Right. I just had someone tell me that they have, they know someone that has one that hates it. That's what's frustrating. It's like everyone's got an opinion, you know. It's like you don't know what to believe. It's, you just got to go by your own personal, like, preference, you know. Absolutely. It's, it's going to be your car. Or you're going to be the one that's got to drive it every day, so. Right. I mean, okay, I did the all-wheel drive deal with the Edge, right? And unbeknownst to me, which they did not tell me when I purchased this car, was um, that I'm not supposed to put ethanol gas into it. And so the other day, I, I started putting premium gas into the Edge, right? Right. So the other day, I'm going to get gas, and I actually see on the gas cover itself, it says no E80 or E85. Yeah. So I've been putting shitty gas in this vehicle almost the whole time I've owned it, you know. Right. And but it, you know that's not the cause of transmission pro problem. But see, no, I've had Hondas and I've had Toyotas. I drove a Honda CRV the other night after I looked at the Compass. I did not drive the Compass yet, but um, I really like the features and everything that the Compass that they described it has. And obviously, I need to drive it before I can decide. The Honda CRV was nice. It was all right. You know, um, this Honda Civic, I sat in it. I didn't drive it. That's a car, not an SUV. So, you know, it's just all personal preference. Like, the Honda Civic, it's all-wheel drive until it doesn't need to be. You know what I mean? Right. Like, that's different than my Edge, okay? My Edge is all-wheel drive all the time. The yeah, problem that I, ran, I didn't know about all-wheel drive is if one tire gets... Um, punctured and it's not fixable, you don't can't just replace one tire. You have to replace all four tires. Right. And so that's the problem with all-wheel drive, you know. But at the same time, even four-wheel drive, if you use four-wheel drive a lot, your, your tires are going to wear down faster, right? No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no? Uh, it, 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 still, it still comes down to the amount of miles that you drive on the pavement. If you're driving off-road, which is that Never. you're going to have less less wear and tear than you're going to get on the pavement uh, because it's a, a softer surface. Right. Um, but, yeah, it, it still comes down to the amount of miles. It, it don't matter if that you're in four-wheel drive or not. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, but in my case, all other three tires were awesome. The tires were good. They hadn't worn out yet completely. They, they didn't really need, weren't ready to be maybe almost, you know, in a few top 20,000 miles they needed to be replaced. But, no, they need to be replaced now because the tire that got punctured was unfixable. It's like, really? Are you kidding me? Right. But, so that is an issue. I mean, with front-wheel drive, you can do the trick where you don't have to buy two at a time, right? You're always better off having to buy four, though, at one time, no matter what. But no matter what kind of vehicle you got, right? Sure, it's good to have that, you know. Uh, it's fine to have them all match, and that, that's good. It's good to have the same tread depth on all of your tires. Yeah. I think. I mean, front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, or four-wheel drive. Those are the choices I have. Or one-wheel drive. <laughs> I'm not riding a fucking unicycle. No, no, no. <laughs> there are cars that... that, that oh, one-wheel drive. Yeah, that, that only one wheel is powered. No, there's four wheels on the car, though. Oh, yeah, well, right. <laughs> How can that be? Just because the way it's cheaper for them to do it, I, I think um, I think Pintos were that way. Oh, okay. And probably the Vega. Pintos. Pintos, and I oh, think really? the Vega. Oh my God! You mean those rice grinder burners or whatever? No, they were Three American. Cylinders? Those were both American. Yep. Three cylinders. Well. No, no, they're four cylinders. Are they? Okay. <laughs> you know, some of them. Um, other cars, those smaller cars, whatever, had three cylinder engines. Remember that? Sure, sure. We call them rice burners or whatever. Well, mostly rice burner referred to Japanese cars. 
Right, yeah. Well, and, that was back in the 70s when it was a big thing. When they were just making the scene. And everything. Right, when, oh, it was, when it was Toyota and Datsun. Right, Datsun, which, which turned into Honda, right? No, Nissan. They turned into Nissan. Oh, Nissan, okay. Honda's been around and for Nissan's a long time. Nissan's still a good brand. I mean, I'm going to try the, the Nissan Rogue, but they only come in all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive. And they're yeah. mostly all-wheel drive. And they're kind the of... The CRV's they're, only okay. all-wheel drive, but I'm, the difference with the CRV. Is it, it it selects when you need to use the all wheel drive. And the Nissan is kind of expensive, ain't it? Yeah, and these ones are expensive. I mean, it's a little bit more than the the, the Compass because the Compass has like thirty five hundred off right now. It's a rebate from the manufacturer. This <laughs> see, is actually wait, the there's best another, time of There's buy another opinion for you right there from Ben. Buy a pickup. See, I would love to have a Toyota Tacoma. But they're too expensive, dude. And seriously, I don't need a pickup, like, for every day. I would only need a pickup for, like, once in a while to haul shit. You know what I mean? A pickup's just not a, it's not a practical vehicle. Like, if it rubs to grim, I'd buy a Jeep Wrangler. Is that a practical vehicle for me? I don't know. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Jeep, I'm not like an off-roader or anything. I need something no. like that's good gas mileage, that's reliable, that, you know. I would oh. love to have a pickup truck. Trust me, I would love a Chevy Silverado. Or a Ford F one fifty? Oh my fucking god! Now you'd look good I would in love the, one of them. You'd look good in the Ford F three fifty. I'd look good in any fucking truck, buddy. Well, there you, there is that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I mean, I I believe. Well, wait, 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 wait. When, when when are you gonna? Next week. Are are you financed? Are you pre financed? I'm approved through the bank. For up to X amount? 21000 Well, you're a little shy. Yeah, I know, but I got I got a plan. <laughs> All right. But, yeah, no, I'm going to have to make payments, which is going to suck, but, I mean, <laughs> this is, I'll show you guys the picture of the Jeep Wrangler. But, Grimwell, I mean, it's perfect because it's purple. It's more expensive, though. It, but it's a V6. Holy shit. It's, it's fucking better engine, or bigger engine than the Compass. Yeah, well, you know, that's good. Uh, I, I can't tell you. I, mean, I, 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 um, I got the last You guys year. are talking about me getting a truck? That's, a Wrangler is like a fucking truck. Uh, the, I, I got the last year of the Jeep that had the inline six. Um, after that, they went to the V6, which does not have as much low-end power, but... Like you said, you're not out there climbing any mountains. So. No. <laughs> right. You know, I'm not in the mountains. Um, I don't. I live in Wisconsin, so I need a good, reliable vehicle in the snow. I need something that handles well in the snow. I need an all-wheel drive or, or four-wheel drive, preferably. Yeah. I haven't checked out Subaru yet, but I don't. I don't really want a Forester. I I, I don't want a Forester. Yeah. No. And I think the the, the cross track or whatever, it's just too small. I just don't, I'm not used to being in a car at all. I sat in a Honda Accord right. at the dealership, and I was like, this thing's like a boat. Well, I felt so low on the ground. I felt like a fish out of water in a car. I haven't, well, I went, I had two minivans. Then I went to the edge. So I'm used to being in an SU or a higher up, where you're sitting higher up, you know? Yeah. Like in a minivan, even you wouldn't think you sit higher up, but you do in a in a car. It's just because of the shape of the vehicle, you know. Right. No, we're not in the Rockies, but I want to know if that Jeep Wrangler gets good gas mileage. No. Handles well. Handles well. Yes. Gets good mileage. No. No. See, that's <laughs> that's the thing. I mean, I drive forty-four miles five days a week to, round trip to get to work. But well, you could figure you, you could figure twenty miles to the gallon, regardless of where you're at. Well, whether it's freeway or on, the edge. On, on the road. I, I could get the, the highest I got the edge to so far is 19. Oh, well, then that's the same. That's the same. You'd be right there. So it would be about the, the same as the edge. Then. Yeah. So what, are the, what does the, the factory say? 17, and tw 17 city, 21 highway, which is better than the edge, actually. A little bit. A couple yeah. miles. Hey, you know, I do like that uh, color though. It's a fucking purple Jeep. Oh my god! And I would and, rock that. and that one that uh, that one there at that that place that's got a lot of extras on it built onto it. The, the purple one? Yeah, yeah. It's got a hard top on there. You got the front bumper yeah, with the with the sport package. 
on there. Yep. See, I, don't, I, I had to buy my a lot of that stuff for mine. Um, it's a sweet a looking purple vehicle. So. I mean, it's yeah. looking cool. <laughs> I'm gonna cool. drive it just to see. I'm gonna drive the compass. I'm gonna drive a bunch of different vehicles. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna drive, you know. <laughs> and here, here's something to consider. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know if this appeals to you or not, but um, those hard co tops, they come off. You could take them off. Right. That is an awesome. I've never had a convertible. I've can, never had a <laughs> Well, and you could take that. take just the back off or and leave, and leave the, the, the part over the passenger area on, the, the driver's yeah. seats on. Or you could take oh, those, yeah. those off, too. Um, and you could Gee. also, the, the doors are also removable. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! I'm just saying, it's a it's a Jeep, so it does a lot of stuff. It that is. You, you, yeah, you're right. You, I mean, you the seats recline. No, I can't, oh yeah, I the seats recline. Sure, sure, the I, seats. Yeah, those are, in my vehicle. So. The, the regular bucket seats that recline. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I need. And yeah. and the back seat pops out real easy, so you get a little bit more. Uh, there's not much still, but a little bit more cargo space. <laughs> It's, I mean, I'm going to drive it, Grim. I'll, I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, you never it, know. I just, might just love for, it, you know? Just, just for kicks, just to say you drove right. one. I might love it, though. You it's, might. You know, you, you might, never know. You might. You just might. <laughs> I might. I, I mean, I really wanted a Nissan Xterra, and the one drawback, the, or not the drawback, but the, the, the person trying to sell me, or that was, you know... Oh, what else are you looking at? I said Nissan Xterra. Oh, well, that's kind of rides like a truck. It's like, or maybe I was driving a Murano, and I said, what about the Xterra? They said, oh, that's kind of like a truck. But I don't mind that. No, I'm it's old good. school, you know? Uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, and well, I, I would have loved to have a Nissan Xterra. Well, yeah, when, when somebody says it, it rides like a truck, you consider that a bonus. Right, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't think that was a bad thing, you know? Um so I am going to check it out. I'm definitely going to check out the purple Jeep. I'm going to drive it. See what I see what I like it. Yeah. Like right now, since I went through the bank, I can go to any place now and get a car. Before I was just trying to go to Kia and get a loan, you know, to them, and they, you know, I didn't qualify because it's stupid. Okay. In Wisconsin, they use TransUnion. Okay. Well, they ran my report through TransUnion, and I have a zero credit score. Even though I've had credit cards, I've paid off car loans before in my life, they don't use Equifax and the other one, whatever it is, Experian or whatever the fuck they are. You know, All right. Tours. And so, basically, I have a zero credit score. And it's like, What? Yeah. That's can't, you know what I mean? Oh, well, you're going to run this thing no matter where you go. You know, the, the, the finance manager was a total fucking dick. He's like, oh, you're going to run into this wherever you go. Frankly, um, we're spending more time talking to you than we normally would people like you. That have <laughs> people I people like, saying, like Fuck you. you. People like you. Fuck you. <laughs> really, dude? Well, what we can do for you is you, you have three options. You could come up with a, a down payment, or you could um, get a cosigner. Else, we can make a deal for you, but the interest rate is going to be really high. I'm like, fuck off. That was what I'm thinking in my head. Really, buddy? Are you fucking kidding me? Then he tries to be all friendly with me when I'm leaving, or, you know, I, I, we end this thing, and he, he goes to shake my hand, which, you know, and then he says, Merry Christmas. I'm like, what? I'm thinking, when I left them, like, hey, the dude that just said Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> really? Yeah, and a fuck you New Year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that's what he should have said, you know. No, at Kia. At, at Kia. Oh, man. God. You people, I mean, yeah. I've never had a good experience dealing with them people there. And everyone raves oh, about them. They're like, man. oh, yeah. Uh, they worked with my friend who had bad, really bad credit. They did this with them. They did this with that. You know, it's just like, what? Not with me. And they, even on their radio ads, they're like, bad credit, no credit, no problem. It's like, no, it obviously was a problem when I didn't have a credit score in TransUnion. 
which is basically no credit. So their ad is bullshit. Their commercials are bullshit. They fail to tell you that, yeah, you have a zero credit score, no problem. Guess what? Your interest rate's going to be 25%. Huh. You know, that's bullshit. That is taking advantage of people. Right. I'm sorry. Well, that's you know all they I mean? are. That bank- is fucking bullshit. You know, bankers are thieves. That's all there is to it. So they are, and it's fucking bullshit. If they can get away like, with really, it, really, all these hoops you gotta jump through, and you gotta prove it. You know, you know what? I actually thought it was a bad, a good thing to not have any credit card. Turns out, it's not a good thing. No, well, it is if, as long as you never gonna use any credit. <laughs> no, you gotta purchase something little once a month and make a payment for like a year. Then, then you can shut it, close it. But you gotta have something out there that shows that you fucking made payments on a credit card to get a credit score. It's right. ridiculous. It's stupid. Well, it's you like, know, it's not it's... having any credit cards is a good fucking thing. You know, what if I would have walked in there and I had a hundred thousand dollars in credit card debt? You mean to tell me that's a good thing? Uh, sure, they love that. That no, that's no, that's not a good thing. They love that. No. <laughs> that is fucking ass fucking backwards. Yeah, it is. That is fucked up. Yeah, I well. Just, the system's you know, so I, fucking I, 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 I probably at this point have a zero credit score. I have it. I, I closed out all. Right. I mean, I, I had 825 or 830 credit scores. But you know what, I, I, quit using, I quit using all, all the credit about eight or ten what years ago. What about the mortgage that got paid on my home that's in Wisconsin? That don't mean shit? That should be on my credit report. Well, it should, but whatever. You know, the mortgage is paid off. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know. I'm not paying a house payment. All right, all right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, play some music you here. You know, how, how can I have bad credit? Uh, you you can always get a home equity loan. <laughs> no, that that takes forty five days. I talked to the bank. They said I'm better off going the way I went. Absolutely, you I are. Took out a loan you know, you against not, equity on my you do, vehicle. You do not want to take a loan against your house to buy a no, freaking car. No, you don't. That's a bad move. <laughs> and I didn't do it. Yeah, good. All right, it's time for some tunes here. All right. Well, we'll come back. We'll uh, talk some more about cars or news or whatever, man. So this is a guy by the name of Joe that plays a guitar. Hopefully you'll like him. Joey B, <laughs> my buddy. I yeah. wish. I wish this was more than a buddy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm well, this, kidding. Is, this is back from 2009 when he was younger, so. Weren't we all? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, very nice stuff there, very nice stuff. That was a poxified request. It was uh, Joe Satriani. Sat, Sat, uh, Speed of light there. Um, excellent stuff, good request. Before that, we had The Ventures doing Wipeout. I can't do this thing. Anyway, we kicked it off with Joe Bonamassa. Uh, from the Royal Albert Hall back in 2009, doing uh, Just Got Paid and uh, Dazed and Confused. Yeah, for so long it's not true. <laughs> oh, man, so uh, good music there, I think, uh, one and all for all those tracks. Excellent stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um Oh yeah, look at all these. Look at all these great requests in this list. So, let's get some of them in the queue. Moose Girl, are you there? I don't know what happened to Moose. Faded away. She does that sometimes. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, it looks like everything's back to normal now with the uh, thing, the uh, stream there. I know it's not been really exciting uh, conversation you got here, talking about the stream and talking about cars and oh, all that that happy stuff that we talk about. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is. Um, we do what we do. <laughs> uh, so.
So y'all got stuff planned up for the weekend? Anything good going on that we, we that we you want to share with us? I don't know. Um, I, I got I got some I got some stories that I saved up for the for the uh, thing here. Uh, so let's see where we can uh, let's see where we can start here. I think I think we'll start with this here because I found this quite interesting. Are you there, Moose? I heard a click. Uh, anyway, I found this quite interesting. The accuracy of it, I, I can't really tell you about, but um, here's the story. <laughs> this is on antimedia.org, the antimedia.org. Um, you, you, yourself, personally, can now automatically generate cryptocurrency by wearing this suit. <laughs> I shit you not. Uh, anyway, cryptocurrency, particularly the parabolic rise in the value of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a handful of other coins, is one of the huge stories of 2017. Indeed it is. No, your birthday suit uh, you may generate some other kind of excitement from, but you're not going to get any cryptocurrency out of that. <laughs> well, you might, depending on, I guess, where you're standing and what the people are willing to donate to you. But not not the same thing. Anyway, likewise, anxiety over the rise of of automation is recurring headline in the news, with many news networks, anti-media included, reporting that a great many people stand to lose their jobs to machines and algorithms in the next decade. Perhaps then, it's no surprise that a company has launched a body suit that captures body heat and uses it to mine cryptocurrency, allowing humans a uniquely biological way to generate currency. The hardware manufactured by the Institute, get, get, get the title of the name of this, the Institute of Human Obsolescence. <laughs> now, now I, I didn't really look in to the Institute of Human Obsolescence to see if they're the ones making you go obsolete or they're the ones trying to handle what happens once humans are obsolete. <laughs> Either way, the Institute of Human Obsolescence uses thermoelectric generators to harvest body heat, convert it to electricity, and then mine newer cryptocurrencies like Litecoin, Dash, Ethereum, and others. According to a report, 37 workers using the bodysuit clocked 212 hours generating, and get this, 127,210 milliwatts, not megawatts, milliwatts, and mined 16,954 coins. Now, I don't know what kind of coins they were mining with that tiny amount of electricity, but it certainly couldn't have been a whole lot, not a Bitcoin, uh, maybe some some very minor coin, but you're not going to get 17, nearly 17,000 coins out of that many milliwatts of electricity. It just, it just ain't going to happen. Anyway, the workers received 80% of the money. The Hague-based uh, Loho, Loho, I-O-H-O, I, I, I guess that's what it is, I, it, it, that's, that's the... IOHO. It's hard to tell the L from the H there. The Institute of Human Obsolescence was founded in 2015 Hello. with the aim of using art projects to help people monetize biological data production in an age when personal data is increasingly a commodity mined relentlessly by advertising the internet companies and internet companies. It, it seems it made sense to turn the tables and allow humans or data workers <laughs> to do some mining of their own using their own biological data production. Um, I, <laughs> I'll let you read the rest of this for yourself. But uh, the fact that they have a group, the Institute of Human Obsolescence, and that they're using your body power, body heat, to mine cryptocurrencies, all seems a bit, um, I don't know, 
I don't know how you would creepy. say it. Freakish? Creepy? Well, not maybe not creepy, but freakish, a little bit of freakish there. Uh, yeah. And, and, and I, I mean, I'd really have to get more information on this, because they're talking about just, uh, you know, uh, less than 200,000 milliwatts. Milliwatts. That's, that's nothing. No. <laughs> of power to, to mine nearly 17,000 coins. And they, so, like I said, the article doesn't say what coins they mined, um, because that, that's not a lot of power, and, and it takes a lot to mine a Bitcoin. So uh, I don't think they were mining Bitcoins with these. They, they could have been doing something something small. I, I, I don't really have any idea. Anyway, so, oh, did I give that link in the chat? No, I did not. Cryptocurrency suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Yeah, I remember Crazy. that. I remember that, Pox I, I, I like that, that show, Black Bear, but, but it's on Netflix, and I canceled that shit. <laughs> you don't have Netflix anymore? No, I killed it. I don't know. It's been, uh, oh, you got, you got Amazon. Yeah, I got Amazon. Yeah. So. I got both. <laughs> yeah, I don't have time. So I got kids, and you know they're fucking demanding. Oh uh, yeah, sure. That's kids for you. Really? Kidding me? Fuck. We had four channels when I was a fucking kid. There's always the bay. Oh yeah, Pirate Bay. Sure. <laughs> No, there's a, I have some other one. Uh, I don't know what it's called. That has a bunch of different stuff on it too, but uh, it's a pain in the ass. I don't like to use it. This fucking media shit though. Like I'm fine with laptop. I mean, desktop, you know. Yeah. Um I have a laptop or I had a laptop. My my lap, I do have one, but it's so outdated that it doesn't even turn on anymore probably. And I used to bring that with me when I went to hotel rooms and stuff, but the the connection always sucked. Oh. You know, at a room, at a hotel room, and yeah. um, it got to be a pain in the ass lugging it around. Right, right. You know, so then all these smartphones come out where you have your computer right on your phone, right? Yeah, but who's gonna watch a movie on their phone? Right, you can't. I mean, unless you've got high bandwidth and you're paying a lot of money for your ISP, it's going to suck. Right. Watching a movie on your phone is going to suck. Even Although my kid has done that. When we're, we drove to Thanksgiving, he watched a movie on his phone. Yeah, well, they're, they're young. they got good eyes. <laughs> right. It's like, you know, it's just, I just don't... I think it's out of control. I, I, it's just too out of control, dude. Maybe, maybe if you had one like those. Too much devices and too much. It's constant, like, on mode. Yeah, well. You know, your brain needs to fucking chill, relax, people. Well, let, let me tell you about you, this since we're talking about that. Okay. <laughs> Mozilla slipped a Mr. Robot promo plugin what? into Firefox. I believe that. That's and why them updates that I was having problems with <laughs> suck ass, because that shit so, programmed into them. It says, so they slipped the the, the, the the promo plugin into Firefox, and users are pissed. Yeah, I was pissed. <laughs> so when that uh, fucking new version, that they're like, if you know it's a legit Firefox update, right? Yeah. So you do it. Because it's going to improve yeah, no, the Firefox, so much. right? No, it makes it worse. You have all these ads all of a sudden. You have all... It's just like, are you fucking kidding me? This is not a better version. It right. wipes out all of your add-on. So, any, anyway, the, the article here on gizmodo.com. Mozilla sneaked a browser plug-in that promotes Mr. Robot, which is, I guess, a TV show, into Firefox and managed to piss off a bunch of its privacy-conscious users in the process. The extension, called Looking Glass, is intended to promote an augmented reality game. Further, your immersion into the Mr. Robot universe, whatever what? that is. Okay, whatever. Yeah, uh, according to Mozilla. 
It was automatically added to Firefox users browsers this week with Gee, no bullshit. no explanation except the cryptic yeah, message. Yeah, they should be able to do that. <laughs> with no with no explanation except for the cryptic message, my reality is just different than yours. Really? Are you Pro fucking kidding me? Prompting you prompting, prompting users to worry on Reddit that they've been hit with spyware. Uh, it says, I have no idea what it is or where it came from. I freaked out a bit and uninstalled it immediately, one user wrote on Reddit. Without an explanation included, with the extension, users were left digging around in the code uh, for the Looking Glass to find answers. Looking Glass was updated for some users today uh, with a description that explains the connection to Mr. Robot. <laughs> anyway. I'll let you have a look here. Anybody that, that's uh, doing automatic updates on their Firefox, um, and if you suddenly see something stupid like that, then, uh, all right, Moose is going to let the dog out. Um, then, uh, yeah, you, you, you probably want to get rid of that. Uh, I, I can't imagine it's a good thing. Uh, and you're right, Poxified. It is a good t a, a time for a good Firefox fork. Uh, there have, There are some out there. Um, I don't know how good they are, but there are some out there uh, that um, do a pretty decent job. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, there's that. So, uh, but you probably want to set it up so that it doesn't interfere with your uh, actual Firefox um, directories, because it will. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, there was that. that. Now I, I don't I don't know if you're aware of Moose or not. And let me see if I have a story here on it. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Perfect. Um, I don't know if you're aware of Moose or not, but this week the uh, FCC got rid of the uh, what they called net neutrality. Net neutrality. Right. And and a lot of people uh, I hesitate to call them that. A lot of people were freaking out about. Oh no, net neutrality gone. But, right. But the thing is, it was only there for two years. And it's a good thing. It was only it was only it was only there for two right. years. And and was anything saved or made better by it? No. No. Well, okay. The reason is, <laughs> it's stuff like what you were just talking about, Grim. When we had it, when it was in place or whatever. They got. They were able to do stuff like slip that. I see. When you say stuff like they slip this thing in there, oh, that still be pisses it. me off. It should be a, a a choice. It shouldn't be you're getting this. Right. You know it, that's bullshit, and that's what net neutrality made possible. Well, is not, them to no, be able not, to do not that. really. I, I mean, I mean, they they no. They, yeah, I mean, in would, some ways, though, they can do whatever they want to their own fucking program. Right. You know? Right. Well, they can. But this in this article's about that, but not necessarily about that. Um, this okay. is on KansasCity.com. The monopoly power of tech giants like Google, Facebook, and Amazon is right. the real threat to net yes. neutrality. Yes, it is. So, okay, i got to let them in now. I'll be right back. Uh, all right. Anyway, let me give you a little bit here. Hey, hey Hansel, uh, in the FCC's recent vote to pull back on the previous administration's approach to net neutrality, which has nothing to do with net neutrality, was greeted by some advocates as a wholesale retreat from regulation of the Internet, which I applaud wholesale deregulation of everything. And the Internet is no exception. So handing over cyberspace to corporate censorship and stranding everyone except for the 1% in the maddening slow lanes. But these critics are dead wrong. First, the erroneous, they erroneously confuse FCC Chairman I.G. Pai, I think it's Agit Pai, but they forgot the T here, uh, a plan to roll back a certain obsolete utility rules uh, with an abject surrender to corporate censorship and toll-gated Internet. Secondly, and more importantly, advocates for competitive, vibrant Internet need to urge regulators to turn those guns to the real threat. 
to massive edge providers like Google and Facebook, whose unchecked monop monopoly power mocks yes. the very idea of neutrality. Yes, it does. Anyway, it goes on to explain the various uh, things that are, are being done by these corporate giants, which I'm not, a, I'm not opposed to corporate giants, but don't be passing laws that make it easier for them and harder for the little guy, which is what net neutrality right. did. Yes, it did. And people are, have been hoodwinked in this, and then being told, or in their mind, they're thinking it's a bad thing. You know why? Oh, well, because, because they've been they told. they call it net neutrality. Right, yeah. Right, and they, they don't understand it. it. They, they have no... They, they think neutrality means good, right? Right. When that's how they twist shit. Boat, they always fucking are, do this kind of stuff. Profit. They twist their shit so it fits. They make you think it's a good thing, and then, oh, they're gonna, the government wants to get rid of it. So now they think the, the government... They want you to think the government's getting rid of a good thing. No, they're getting rid of a bad thing. <laughs> I'll tell you what. The, the, more, the more regulations and laws they remove... The better yes. off we are. Yes, yes, so, the better off. Um, Except for when fucking butt fucking motherfucking oompa oompa or oompa loompa, whatever the fuck you want to call that thing up there, that's a sign of the shit. <laughs> he fucking, oh, let's give a, let's take away some of the National Park acreage. Okay, yeah, because my buddies want to drill fucking oil there. Well, well, see, the, see now, if you, if, no, if you're talking about the, uh, the land up there in Utah. Yeah. Right. Well, the government, the federal government, has no right to to have stolen that land in the first place. Right, but that's not the point. The point is, is they think that they, that they control it, and that doesn't matter. Your theory is true, but your theory don't hold water right now. What does hold water is the fact that that motherfucking bitch up there wants his buddies <laughs> to be able to fucking have access well, to that land so obviously. they can get fucking richer. That's the that's the deal, Brim. Uh, well, that, that, that's 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 all. Way back in time, we're not changing that fact. No, they stole the fucking shit. You know, you want to get it back? Good luck with that. You don't got enough money to do that to get it back. <laughs> no one does. Oh, Poxified's funny. <laughs> no one has no not enough money to get that He's back. A funny guy. <laughs> you know, and I don't fuck. You can take him to court till you're fucking dead. And that's how long it would take you. You don't got enough money to take him to court and do that. Right. That's another part of the system that's fucked. You want to try to fight them? You don't got the means, not compared to what they got. That's why the system's fucked up. It's never going to be in your favor. Ever. No. No, of course ever. not. It's not in your favor, ever. No, they never do anything in your favor. Right. Nope. So anytime you go against them and try to fight them in court, or any kind of bat battle you want to take on with them, uh -huh. it's going to be a fucking motherfucking all-out war. And you're going to have less resources than they do, and less money than they do, sure. and less lawyers than they do. So if you think you can beat them at their own fucking game, you want to spend all that fucking money and waste all that time, have at it. Absolutely. And maybe sometimes it does work. Maybe. But, no, ask the bunnies. How long were they incarcerated? A couple years. Yeah, bull fucking shit. Yeah. That's what you get for fighting the system. You gotta fucking sit in there for two fucking years before you get your day in court. Right. You wanna do that? You wanna sit in jail for two years before you get your day in court? No, Go I don't wanna sit in jail for two seconds. That's, this is why people don't fight them. <laughs> this is why people do not go up against them in their court system. Because yeah. you know what? It's skewed against us. It's a scam fucking system. It's fucking bullshit. You're right. And, you know, you want to waste all that time and energy and money when you, they still got, no matter how much money you got, you have one lawyer, maybe two, they'll have 20. Well, not, not only that, but they write the laws, so. Yeah, they make their own laws. And, and they, and they. them at their own game. And, and they change you, you, those yeah. rules as they go along to being on, depending on what fit, what right. fits their, their agenda. That's Ron Paul about that one. They changed the, the rules of the convention, mid-convention, because they knew Ron Paul had the popular vote. So they had to do something about that. You got, you got Alzheimer's there, Poxified? <laughs> <laughs> orange fizzy water. What the fuck yeah, is that? Who knows? Is that orange pop? Who knows? Orange soda. Okay. 
crush, maybe? Who knows? The problem with pops or anything, any kind of container that you use, once it's empty, you need to do something with it. You can't just leave it sitting there. You got to fucking do something with it. What are you going to do? Leave it sitting there? Knock it to the floor and leave it on the floor? Yeah, absolutely. And leave it sitting there, and then you're going to have, and you're going to do that 30 times. You leave like 30 pop cans laying on your fucking floor. How much soda are you drinking? At your feet. I'm saying once a day for 30 days. You oh. said leave it there, that's fine, Grim. For let's say that's for 30 days. I don't let's leave them pop cans sitting on that floor for 30 days, one a day. Yeah. You got 30 pop cans on your floor. You're going to try to walk through that shit to get to your fucking wherever you got to go? No, you got to take them. Are you fucking them. kidding me? Yeah, it's yeah. It's fucking garbage. You throw it out. You got to take them down to the recycler. Yeah. You recycle it, or you throw it the fuck up, but you get it the fuck out of there. Okay, not aluminum can. <laughs> Plastic fucking container. All right. I'm just saying, saying. Okay, tell me what you think about this. Okay. Tech story here from uh, Slashdot.org. AT&T begins testing high-speed Internet over power lines. Says uh, AT, yeah, AT and T oh. has started trials to deliver high speed internet over power lines. The company has announced uh, the news on Wednesday that said that the trials have started in Georgia State, which I believe is that over there in uh, near Russia, uh, and a non U S location. Reuters report. So maybe it's the state of Georgia in the U S and another non U S location. It's, it's hard to discern from the way it's written. Either way, AT&T aims to eventually deliver speeds faster than one gigabit per second and consumers that consumers can currently get through the uh, fiber internet, fiber optic internet service, using high, fre using high frequency airwaves that travel along power lines, which seems very weird. High frequency airwaves yeah. that travel along power lines. While the Georgia trial is in a rural area, so I guess that is the state of Georgia, the service could potentially be deployed in suburbs and cities. The company deployed. said in a statement. AT and said AT and T said it had no timeline for the deployment, and that it would, would look it would look to expand trials. It's it's an interesting concept. The I, choice of wording is interesting, isn't it? Isn't it though? Um, deploying and deployment. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, you motherfuckers. Enough is enough. Well, no, it's a very interesting concept. So I need to fly out to D.C. right fucking now Look, and if fucking it, put the fucking hammer down. If it, if it were, if this actually uh -oh, works. Oh, there could be a fucking CIA fucking op listening. I oh, didn't yeah. mean well, that. I'm well, not going to fucking just... go up there and fucking throw my hammer on the White, White House lawn for crying out loud. Everyone should do that, though. <laughs> we should all go up there and throw a fucking hammer on the goddamn White House lawn, motherfuckers, or whatever well, the fuck, a wrench, hammer, screwdriver, because they're all getting screwed. I, screwdriver I, I, would be better. Throw a bag of dogs. Throw, throw a bag. Or plunger. Toilet plunger. Throw, Let's throw, go over the fence, 1600 <laughs> Pennsylvania Avenue. Throw, throw a bag of dog crap over there. The plunger movement. I'm starting it. Dog, dog crap. It. I say dog crap. Fuck this shit. Throw dog crap over. <laughs> yeah. Actual shit. That's what they deserve. They deserve that. They want that. Now, that might help the lawn. We want something that's going to get their attention. Fucking plunger. The plunger brigade. All right, burning dog. That's what dog. we need. That's what we need up in D.C. One big ass mother fucking plunger. All right, bur burning, burning dog crap. Because it's fuck. Okay, there you go. I like that. Because it's fucking a piece of shit up there that needs to be fucking flushed, dude. It's a toilet fucking clock. And you yeah. got a big orange piece of shit sitting right on top. <laughs> it's signs his name on shit. Yeah. And he's a puppet in chief. But the toilet fucking clog that's been clogged for a while, I don't know who's got a big enough plunger for that, but that's what we need. Uh, well, what we need is a little fucking plunger. Yeah, they, they they just need to be erased. 
plunge them. Flush it. Flush that shit down. We no need a fucking, who's not a good plumber? Who's a good plumber? We need some plumber crack up there. Uh, I, I don't know. Throw liquid. I think plumber crack. Plumber crack could actually take them out. Throw throw liquid plumber over there. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> No, actual plumber crack butt. No, I know what you're talking about. You might need to go to that extreme. Uh, it, you know? It's possible. A toilet I mean, auger. You, what if we get 100 fucking plumber cracks up there? Plumber butt cracks up there? They wouldn't know what to fucking do with themselves. Yeah. They'd be like, uh-oh, they mean fucking business now. They're they're flashing us plumber butt cracks. <laughs> Put plumber, plumber cleavage. Yeah, um, yeah. plumber cleavage. <laughs> We're done. We better evacuate immediately. They mean business. Once they bring out the plumber butt track, butt cleavage, we're fucking done. Absolutely. We're done. <laughs> All right. Let's play some more tunes here. <laughs> All right. Let's do that. And we'll come back. Now, this this first this first track is this is our uh, our uh, our favorite devil worshiping band. All right. Oh, cool. Oh, and, cool. And, on the, and that note, I think I should. I, I was channeling George Carlin at that time. That rant. I was channeling George Carlin. And you were doing a fine job of it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so this is uh, do wrong, right? We're the Devil Makes Three. Uh, we're from. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't care no more either. You walk to school, <laughs> stop. The forest where you stop. 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 All right, uh, that's the dead sounds there with that bastard son. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta like the lyrics on that one. I, I don't care no more. I just want liquor and dirty whores. <laughs> uh, the dead south. All right, before that was uh, <laughs> come and get your love. Uh, yeah, that's Redbone, but uh, it was a Christopher Walken special video there uh, for Redbone and Come and Get Your Love. And we kicked it off with The Devil Makes Three and Do Wrong Right. So, uh, good stuff all around there. All right, there's there's a duck. Somebody get that duck. Get that duck. I'd do, I'd do it, but, I, but, I, but, I, but, I, but, I, but I'm doing other stuff, so. I'd do it, but I'm, I was burping. <laughs> it's still there. Get it. Get that duck. P E W. Ah, hey, good news. Got, got the damn duck. <laughs> so I'm gonna post that link on the uh, Blue Ox Facebook. Yeah, that's a, that song's a couple years old. They got newer stuff, but you know. Um, still? I'm sure they've heard of them. Oh, well, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, that that video had uh, a lot of views on it. I mean. How many views are on that video? Um, four yeah, million, right. four and a half million views almost. So, um, yeah, they've heard of them. You, you don't get that kind of, you don't get that kind of stuff with that. Uh. <laughs> okay, I posted it on. Good, 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 good. Okay. Good. Fuck me then. That's right. Well, then I'm going home. I was posted. Okay. Anyway, no, no big deal. What's up? What's up? Oh, I don't know. I'm. I'm hang on. Just I'll. I'll give you. A, I got. I got plenty more stuff to talk about. I'm just uh, getting the. Uh, uh, I could find something. I'm sure. I got. I got. Where's my cursor? I lost. I lost my cursor. There it is. <laughs> I just need to click on it. You, you know, no, I got, I got, I got plenty. If you, unless you, unless you, uh, something specific. Okay, oh, uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. I know you love Vermont. I do. Oh, I saw your link earlier. Yeah, yes, well, I do love Vermont. Vermont's awesome. Get the hell out of here! All right. So this came out um, yesterday, I think. Yeah, yesterday. Vermont, the state thereof, will legalize marijuana within weeks, officials indicate. Nice. So in 2017, this year, the state fell just short of ending marijuana prohibition. But both legislative chambers have now approved a legalization proposal. Uh, but Scott, I guess that's their governor, vetoed it. 
However, the governor then laid out a few small revisions he wanted legislators to make in order to garner his signature. The Senate quickly acted to make the request to changes, but the House was not able to overcome procedural hurdles to pass the revised bill in the time during the short special session over the summer. The legislation remains on the House calendar and can be approved with a simple majority under the regular order next month, January. Under the bill, Vermont's approach to legalization, and this is a bonus, would differ from the regulatory systems that exist in other eight legalization states. That's because instead of allowing licensed stores where consumers could purchase weed, it would simply enact a non-commercial form of legalization where possessing small amounts, which I don't know why they put that in there, but possessing small amounts of cannabis and growing a few plants at home would be legal. <laughs> However, the Senate-approved legislation would create a commission to study possible future commercialization. But for now, home growing and possessing would be legal under this if they pass this next month. During the legislative recess, Scott used an executive order to proactively create a marijuana legalization study commission on his own. So there is a chance that the pending bill will be amended to remove the commission provisions before lawmakers vote on final passage, and that could potentially mean that it will take slightly more time than just one additional House floor vote. Part of the bill is no longer needed, Scott said this month, referring to the commission piece. So I'll let you uh, peruse the rest there, but the this, this thing on this is here, um, which is a good thing, is... Um, uh, that you're going to be able to just grow it and, and, and have it at home. It, it does, What the hell did I do? It doesn't state what a uh, small amount is, but as long as that amount... Why, why is this not doing what I want here? Um, <laughs> you hate that? Yeah, I do, I, I, do, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> it sucks. You click on something. You, there it is. You know, you're like, okay, it worked. Okay. Um, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, as long as that amount, is it like a pound or ten pounds or something? I mean, that's a small amount, right? Uh, they, they they don't tell you how much um, alcohol you can buy, so why would they tell you how much weed you can have? I don't get right. it. Right. I mean, that's the problem with the legalization aspect. It should just be decriminalized. Right. It's legal, right. They just say it's legal. But they, they say a small amount and a few plants, so... Well, yeah, what, see, whatever. Well, whatever. It's, it. it's 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 leaps and bounds above what I it is right that, now. So that's the problem with legal. That's you know, it's like there's a fine line there, and so we gotta take the good with the bad. And okay, they're legalizing, quote unquote, legalizing it. So but, that's good because that means loosening their fucking restraints on it. You know what I mean? That I guess you know what I mean. It sucks that they use that terminology, Graham. I get that. I know. But at the same time, it's better than nothing, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean considering, me, it's, yeah. We're, we're, considering where it is right now, that's that's a lot better. Um, yes. You know, it's got to happen. Because it is medicine. You know, this is my take on it. Yeah, I love to smoke pot and get high. But you know what? It's more than that for me. It is. It's medicine to me. Uh, to me, it's, it's none of their freaking business. That's what it is to right. me. Right, and it is none of their business. If I want to go fucking store a fucking couple lines of coke right now, I should be able to do it if that's what I want to do. Do I want to do that? No, I don't want to do it. Was it. If it was sitting in front of me right now, I wouldn't do it. I guarantee you. I yeah, I, I, have, I, have, I have no interest in coke. I would fucking say whatever. Yeah. But we... When it comes to that, right? that's medicine to they're, me. They're, that's they're, not going to kill me. I can OD on cocaine. I can be a, turn into a raging fucking lunatic on cocaine. I don't want to. So I don't do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to know that. Not to, say, and not to say that I don't have my moments where I am that, but it's not fueled by that. It's not fueled by cocaine. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. And so, yeah, no, see, lazy pothead, I hate that terminology so bad, that is a total fucking fallacy that pot makes you lazy, because it doesn't. Certain grains of pot could, maybe after a long day of 
working eight hours, and you smoke some fucking really good dank indica, you're going to feel fucking lazy as fuck. But you already put eight hours in at your fucking job. Yeah. So what that's going to do, it's going to make you sleep fucking better. You know? Right. No, it's great. It puts my yeah. effort to sleep. It's good to be lazy when it's sleep time. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, the fa- don't buy into those fucking stereotypes and myths about weed. The, oh, oh, yeah. Just a stupid stoner. Pot does not make you stupid. <laughs> Pot actually increases your brain cells. Okay? So everything that you've been told about it is incorrect. In freaking correct. Yes. It actually increases your brain cells. I Alcohol know. will decrease your brain cells. Sure. Alcohol will do that. And so will government. Government will decrease your... Pot will not do that, though. But, but, Pot, it will help you. Help your brain. It actually helps your brain. <laughs> it helps your whole body. Yeah. And government you know, will... You people are like, oh, no, oh, I don't want to be no hippie stoner, dude. That is such a fucking stereotype. It's not even funny, people. Right. I mean, you, the, the first, one of the first steps you can take is quit buying into these fucking stereotypes that are being put out there. Quit buying into this, into this hate rhetoric. Well, you're different, so I hate What? They do that for a reason. I've been saying this since the, for, as long as we've been doing this show. The first show that we did, I said this probably. They want us divided. That's why they keep playing the race card. Right. Playing the sexual card. The sexual identity card. Because they want us to be at odds with each other. They want us to be fucked up. They want us to be at each other's throats for what stupid stuff. Sure. Stupid things. Well, oh yeah. You like the you want the fucking street light street light street sign stop signs to be fucking purple. We want them to stay red. You know what I mean? They want you to fucking be at odds with each other for stupid shit. Because you're easier to control as a whole if you're at odds with each other. Yeah. That old adage, united we stand, divided we fall, is correct. Think about it. Right. Power, there is power in numbers. And if we all, because you know what? I said this fucking eight years ago on this show. They we outnumber them. The people outnumber the government. That's why they want us divided. Because yeah. if we amass as a whole fifty if just say fifty percent of us amass as a whole, put all our differences aside and said, you know what? We got one common goal, and that is to get plunge these fucking bass, unclog this fucking toilet. If we, if fifty percent of this population was there, it could happen. Sure. Because we outnumber them. We outnumber them in whole. I'm counting the government, the cops, every fucking city and state employee in this fucking country. They're outnumbered. That's like. Why they don't want us de- united, they want us divided. Because we are easier to control when we are divided. <laughs> because they know damn well that they're all fucking numbered. Oh. So that's why they keep playing this fucking game and all this shit. Playing this card. Right. And lying. Point blank to our fucking faces. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They fucking lie. That's their, that's their main... Modus operandi. Yes, it is. The main way they operate. Their main tactic is to lie. That, their that, second uh, one is to deny. That, that's their third right. one is just make shit up as we go along. <laughs> so, if you support them, I feel sorry for you. I do too. In any way, shape, or form. Don't give me this, yeah, but we need cops, and yeah, but we need... No, that doesn't work for me. Me either. If they work for the state or a government agency in any way, shape, or form, they aren't working for you. They're working for the people that pay them. Right. Period. You wouldn't do a job time and time again if you weren't getting paid. Would you? Um, No, you would not. 
If I liked it, I Cops guess. Cops are I don't getting know. paid to follow up their orders. All yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's the way it is. And if you don't believe that, don't take my word for it. Go back. Just do your own research. Or, Get or, your head out of your fucking ass and actually look something up that's not uh, uh, some entertainment thing or sport thing. Right. You know, or some fucking thing that in the scheme of things doesn't really fucking matter. Exactly. Do you give a fuck? You want to know what's going on and, you know, how we got to this point? You can find out. You just need to fucking look there. Look for it. Because it's there. If you don't know, then you ain't looking for it. You don't want to know. Right. One of the people that just, oh, well, ignorance is bliss. Oh, yeah, whatever. You know what? You get what's coming to you. That's what you get. That's right. And you, you're allowing them to think for you, which is fucking sad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't let anyone else fucking think for you but yourself, please. If you don't know how to do that, figure it out. That's right. Don't just take stuff at face value. Uh, try and try right. and look look down into the deeper meaning. Dig, dig. Yeah, dig. It's called digging. You know, you want to fucking learn more, you keep digging. You want to find something, you keep digging for it. You know? Yeah, just just uh, dissect what they're saying. So. Right. Just yeah. just take everything with a grain of salt. Question everything they say. Don't just take their word point blank. Oh, yeah. They said it on the news, so it's correct. They said it on, so I should go get a flu shot because the worst outbreak ever of flu is here. They say that every year. <laughs> they say the worst outbreak of flu ever is here. They say that every fucking year. Yes, they They're do. They're lying. They're <laughs> lying. They're lying to you. Yeah, just why like you, a why, Question why they want you to, everyone to go out there and get injected with this shit. Whatever in that syringe, you don't fucking want it. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't. And when they're saying they're going to give you a $25 gift card, if you go get a flu shot at Walmart, and you do it, what are they, 25 bucks? Is that what your life is fucking worth? Apparently. To you? 25 fucking motherfucking goddamn fucking United States dollars. Yeah, no, they could, uh... Not worth your health. R render the fat out of me and make soap that's worth more than that. Not uh, worth anyway. the fucking shit <laughs> crap you can buy at Walmart for 25 fucking dollars. Yeah. So I, I like uh, Hans's uh, take on United We Stand. Is untied We Stoned. <laughs> you know, I don't that know. works for me. <laughs> untied. We can all be stoned. I didn't say nothing. We can all be fucking smoking our medicine walking right up there. But we have to There's be nothing a, they can do about it. They're outnumbered. But we There's have to be, be. But we have five to Five million of us. <laughs> but we have to be. Five un, million uh, yeah. fucking people. <laughs> we have to be five untied, most. Five million most. people. They can't Untied. police that. They can't police five million people. The only way they can do that is to bring in their fucking bombers and bomb the fuck out of them. Yeah. Then maybe the rest of the five million people will fucking wake up and smell a fucking coffee. That's right. You know? Because that's the only way they're going to take out five million people is to bomb the fuck out of them. Sure. They're not going to bomb the fuck out of D.C., are they? Somebody might. Not when, when there's five million people. So, so, somebody might. Yeah, they'll might. go down their bunkers and then they'll bomb out fucking like D.C., right? No, they ain't going to do that if there's five million people. Because you know what? If there's five million people in D.C., that place, we'll already have it. We'll have the White House. We'll be in the White House. I, I don't want because it. Because they're all I, fucking I, I, numbered. I have, I have no interest in it. I don't want to be in there. I'm just saying. It <laughs> will be overtaken. We will have it. Period. All right, all right. It will be as it should be then. And all you constitutionalists out there, you should be backing me up on this. Because it says right in there, there's a clause in there 
and I don't know which one it is offhand, but it there's a clause in there. If you if the people feel the government's out overstepping their bounds, the people have a right to fucking nullify it. No, that that was that was the Declaration of Independence. Okay, the Declaration, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm stupid. No, I, I just say uh, that's a. Uh... It's Declaration of Independence. Uh, right. That, that, that. No, it's... It, okay, yes. It says it, it, the people have a right... For one thing, that's where the Second Amendment comes in. The right to bear arms. Because of the reason of if the government starts overstepping their bounds. Which they've been doing for generations. They've been doing it for as long as I've been in existence. They've been doing it since they took over. Which is 51 motherfucking years. And they were doing it way before I was born. They were doing it back in the days of Anubis. But people, people aren't. They're. They don't. They don't stress that fact yeah. in high school history classes that you have the right to fucking. If the people feel that the government's overstepping their bounds, they have a right to overtake it and put an end to it. Yeah, you go back. People to, forget that one. People yeah. forget that one all the time. They they don't think about it. Yeah. Anyway, on that, since we're talking about Second Amendment and we talked about Vermont kind of easing a, slightly a, a few of their restrictions, we have another state going the opposite direction. California's war on guns broadens to a war on ammunition beginning January 1st. So, uh, California's war on guns will soon broaden the war on ammunition as a ban on the possession of bullets purchased out of state takes effect January 21st, uh, January 1st, 2018. Now, I don't know how they're going to know where you got your bullets, because there's no way, there's no mark on a bullet that says it was made wherever, uh, or, or, or bought wherever. Um, and and if it's a if you can't buy bullets out of state, how are the stores there that sell bullets supposed to get them? Because they're not manufactured there. Right. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking anyway. Fucking dumbasses. <clears throat> we got a bunch of fucking pedophile, sexual, fucking addict dumbasses up there in D.C. It's the toilet is clogged with their shit. Well, this is the Sacramento toilet. The rest of us it's, it's a di for this it. is a different this is, this is a different toilet. It's in Sacramento. Uh, anyway, fucking yeah, another fucking toilet. <laughs> All this <laughs> toilets to every city, major city is clogged. Now, I, and also, and also, I mean, if you buy your your bullets online uh, or or whatever ammo online, they, they got to look at every box to see oh, if you got bullets in there. Move. Anyway, uh, it says this is one of many steps going into effect which will quickly place ammo controls similar to those which Democrat lawmakers placed on guns. According to the Sacramento Bee, it will also be illegal to transfer or buy ammo Fuck illegal. Fuck that. from anyone other than one of so, their officially licensed dealers. So what's going to happen, Graham? It's going to go even under, underground even further. Their fucking declaration is going to fucking backfire on them and make it even, you know... Well, it's crazy and stupid. People are going to be fucking armed and fucking teeth now. Yes, I like it. Yeah, because sure, people, no, so yeah. do I. <laughs> so when it comes to ammo and guns, Americans are pretty much on the same page when it comes to that one. Absolutely. Well, I, uh, and, bunch of, which is a good thing. Bunch of pussy Californians here. Yeah. We're talking about. Fucking Cal. Fuck you, Cali. No, I like. You know, this person comes from really beautiful. No, no. Uh, this, the, the, the state is is beautiful and wonderful. It's it's the idiots that live there. Yes. That that no, allow this to go on. Um. Right. Anyway. They are no one. Everyone says, "Oh, stand up. Oh, do something." Okay. I I told you my idea. Yeah. Anyway, Five million basically, of us up there, we'll overtake the motherfuckers. We can plunge that clogged toilet if we got enough. Well, of them. A, a big a big part of what this thing's all about is, is stealing more of the people's money. Uh, jack it it's up. It's not even real money though. I'm, we're talking real assets. <laughs> the land is an asset. Yeah, Silver but and gold are an asset. That, that's not how they. That, are that, not an asset. That's not how they see it. They see it as the Federal Reserve notes. As right, money but it's, and, in reality, and so, this, so this is more taxes on on your ammo, 
and, and more limiting of supply, which will increase the price. Um, so yeah, that's that's okay. that's what's going on okay. this year. Let's do. I got. I got a thing. I told my kids. Recently, that in reality, <laughs> U.S. did not win the Revolutionary War. Right. And they thought I was fucking crazy. Well, of that's course. Fucking new. So they, I said, yep, because you know why? And they're like, you know, I'm like, because the U.S. is technically under King George Charter. So the things that they were fighting for back in the Boston Tea Party days and shit. Yeah. It nothing changed. Even though it was supposedly the U.S. won the Revolutionary War, no, not true. It was we were still under King George Charter. George Washington was a diplomat. It, uh, well, well, granted by the Queen to become that by the, London. The, the U.S. The U.S. may or may not. He is a Mason. George Washington is a thirty-three was a thirty-three thirty-third degree Mason. <laughs> the the U.S. may or may not have won the Revolutionary War. It is kind of a not so much of a win as 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 uh, Britain went back to regroup, and then came the War of eighteen twelve. Right. Which people don't really talk so much about that one. No, they but don't. But that's the one when Britain came back over and imposed their will. Uh, yeah. To make sure that, yeah, yeah, to know yeah, you're still under... You're still under King, King George you're, Charter. You're still under the crown, and deal right. with it. Uh, yeah, and we'll let you appoint your leader, but, you know, because he's a 33rd degree Mason. That's who we're going to appoint as your leader, you know, your, your general. And he's going to be your first president, quote-unquote... Because, you know, remember when Obama was an officer, even, you know, the Bushes, they always made a trip to London. Sure. To oh, see yeah. the Queen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Civil War was funded by both, both sides of the Civil War were funded by the Rothschild. Both, and which kept, were in London. Oh, the, the Civil London. War was a land was grab. That's what that was. Yeah. Civil the, War was a land grab. That, uh, that was to centralize the government. Am I wrong? What am I wrong about? See, there's a leg in the show, so I don't know what you're saying that I'm wrong about. Tell me what I'm wrong about. I'm curious. <laughs> I don't know. No, it wasn't. Ben, don't be a dick. You know it wasn't about <laughs> slavery. All right. Well, you know that. <laughs> no, no, that doesn't do with slavery. Anyway, let's let's play some more music here. <laughs> no, I want to see what I was wrong. Well, that's okay. He can type opinion. it in the chat. He'll well, in Goober's opinion. I'm always wrong. I, I so, know, I know. What the fuck, yeah. He'll, he'll type it in the chat about what you were wrong about while we play music. <laughs> because, come on now, there's no logic got to be had there. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is a uh, this is a Hans request here. George. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thank you. You guys are great. All right. That was some sweet stuff there. Robin Trower singing Bridge of Size from uh, the Rock Palace Crossroads Festival back in 2009. Epoxified request right there. Before that, we had Real Big Fish singing a truth that we should all know. Everything sucks. And we kicked it off with a Hansel request there. George Thorogood and the Delaware Destroyers with Bad to the Bone. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Joey Bonamassa. No, that's Robin Trower. I love you. Oh, that was Robin Trower. That last song? <laughs> yes. I'm so, I'm an asshole. I'm a dumb. I am still dumb. I'm well, 51, you know, I'm still dumb. You just know it's great music, and, and you enjoy it, and uh, that's she all that matters. You reminded me of Joe Bonamassa. I wasn't watching the vid. I was just, like, chatting, and not, I didn't even have it clicked on the RLF feed. You know, you know what I mean? Sure. It reminded me of Joey B. Yeah. The plane. Because he didn't really sing in that song. Like, Joey B can sing, too. So I should have known better. 
Well, whatever. It doesn't yeah, matter. Matt Leaves and it, 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 they're, they're, they're both great. Up, they're both know? they're both great guitarists in their own right. So, uh, um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> whatever. I'm Matt. doing a show. I'm distracted. I don't always pay like attention. You know what I mean? Sure, sure, sure. No, I get it. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, that's Robin Trauer, and, and he's awesome. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, God, where were we? Over? I used to be a lap dancer. I got a thick skin. You used to be what, a lap dancer? <laughs> <laughs> you would read that into that. <laughs> I said... <laughs> I, I'm used to being laughed at. That's what I said. Oh, I was thinking you were a lap dancer. No, you know, I could be. Now, now but, I, I just want to... I'm not going to degrade myself to that, you know. I, I just want to post this uh, this story up here for, for all you people there that are in the chat. And every now and then, they'll befriend a duck. You see these people in there. They they befriend ducks. Right. Right. Uh, well, and, here, you know, I came across... I've liked some ducks in my life. I, I, like I, ducks. I, I came across this story... Yesterday, I, no I, I came across this story yesterday, and it's just a, a word of warning to y'all out there that are making friends with ducks. Derby, that's over there in England, woman, Derby yes. woman in tears after being fined, after being fined for feeding the ducks. <laughs> okay, what? Don't you have better things to, like, bug people about? Okay, Feeding ducks okay. is nothing compared to rape. All right? Okay. You motherfucking dickhead. Really? Apparently Come not. On, back the fuck up. So, a back woman... The fuck oh, people can't have lemonade stands, and they can't feed the fucking duck. So she... And no, tell, don't feed a homeless person. No, that's illegal, too. What the fuck? You know what? So, so they, they... If I want to feed a homeless person... I'm gonna fucking do it. So well, she, 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 she was, You're a fucking dick. She she was oh out my there. God. She was out there feeding the ducks, and the, and the pig came along and said, oh "Hey, my God. you're littering," and they gave her a fifty pound what? fine. No, no, I'm feeding the fucking ducks. <laughs> I'm not littering, you fucking dick. I'm feeding fucking ducks. They're living fucking creatures. And they need this food, and I'm giving them food. So fuck off and get the fuck away from me. Anyway, I'm the, not the, littering. I'm feeding ducks. The woman was afraid to, uh, to say anything, and and she ran straight to the place to pay off the fine. She she what? she uh, was she was scared. These I would have went to court and said, "No, I was feeding ducks. I was not literally littering." The, the, these, uh, these two women cops came along and said, "Nope, you're out. You're out." Doesn't even matter gender. Cops, two <laughs> cops, two state employees. <laughs> Government employees came along. Now this let's, this let's here. Let's call them cops. I want to call them agents of government. I want to change them from cop to agents of government. See now this here, uh, this this here next one. Yes. <laughs> now, I'm always bad now, in the waiting room. I'm sorry guys, I can't help it. I'm always bad in the waiting room. Now now the now. The moon affects me, but the waiting room affects me more. I'm just telling you, it's just I'm I'm ass backwards. All right. That now, did you did you ever hear? Did you ever hear the the, the the phrase, the statement? Oh, quit, quit, quit beating off, or that'll make you go blind. Yes, I've heard that. Like okay. You're not supposed to beat off because you go blind. Right. It's a total fallacy. It's well, apparently, total... apparently, yeah. it's not. No, it is a fallacy. Here Kevin. we no. go. <laughs> no, no, no! You cannot go blind from beating no, up. No, no, no! Here, here Sorry, we. Sorry, no. <laughs> Here, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Listen. <laughs> From the New York Times. <laughs> no. Vigorous exercise tied to macular degeneration in men. <laughs> but that's vigorous exercise. That's, they don't say <laughs> no. beating off. It wasn't that specific. <laughs> All right. Good. I'm glad that you watched <laughs> A new study suggests that vigorous, vigorous physical activity may increase the risk for vision loss. I'm having trouble reading this. <laughs> I can't see it. 
<laughs> anyway, um, uh, using question <laughs> questionnaires, Korean researchers evaluated, evaluated physical activity among uh, 212,000 men and <laughs> women ages 45 to 79, 2000, 2003. They, uh, then they tracked the diagnosis of age-related macular degeneration. Macular degeneration, the progressive <laughs> deterioration of the central area of the retina, which uh, I'm, I'm having trouble. I can't see it. <laughs> I'm going blind here. <laughs> Too much whacking <laughs> off. <laughs> Too much whacking off makes you go blind. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh -huh. that, that that's what they're talking about. They yeah. like I said, they didn't they, right. they didn't they didn't that they didn't come right out and say it, but that's what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking just come right out and say it. This day and age, really? <laughs> Hi, oh god. <laughs> Disguise it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> so any y'all out there, you can't see too well, you man. Just so much. <laughs> oh my God! You got we're in the gutter now, girl. We're fucking we're told. We're right on down that rabbit hole. We're right fucking. <laughs> All right, we got to do this. We got we got to do this. Okay. We'll be right back. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Old Black Betty shaking that thing. Does make me sing. That's Ram Jam there. Oh, wrapping it up for us tonight. That the uh, Monroe's Retro release. Some Betty Page in that video. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, Betty was fucking hot. Yeah. So any, anyway, folks, um, tomorrow you got your dark table coming on at noon. Dark table and trivia. Well, well, not tomorrow. Oh, no, Sunday. Sorry. <laughs> uh, not tomorrow, just dark table tomorrow. Dark table tomorrow with Grammy and a flash drive. I'll be on Sunday with the trivia and the blues at noon Eastern uh, for three hours, maybe a little more. I, I, I tend to give it a little bit extra up front. Right. Um, I got I got to I got to cut it off sharply at three Eastern hey, because blues, the blues are fucking awesome. The on blues. Monday, you're sitting there having your coffee. Tune in to Grimm's Blue Show. It's like, it's like the ultimate. It's That's like right. Playing ultimate. some trivia. Having a good old Monday freaking. Deal. Good, good old yeah. freaking time here in the RLM chat. Right right on. And then uh, uh, immediately following me, 3 p.m. Eastern, noon o'clock Pacific, Hal Anthony behind the woodshed opening up a jumbo-sized can of whoop-ass on y'all. And then at 7 p.m. Eastern will be Gary L. and Gigi's Boo right. going, going down the road less traveled. Less traveled. Yeah, they're very, very eclectic show they do. It's It's cool stuff. Yeah, it's well, cool. You well, know, and they're cool people. They are you know, cool people. They're just fucking stellar individuals. Absolutely. And uh, so that, that'll, that'll be the uh, the weekend lineup here on RLM Radio. Uh, so don't miss it. Come on, stick on around and listen to the podcast, all that wonderful, happy yeah, stuff. And, and we're always, the chat's always open. I mean, chat's always, always open. The chat's always there 24-7. You know, it's awesome. People post links. People log and chat about stuff, and it's great. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, that'll do her. You got anything else? Nope. All right. Peace. All right. Peace.